Well, hello, y'all. Uh, Trey Ratcliffe here, uh, coming to you from my studio down here in New Zealand. Um, every morning when I wake up, I try to edit, you know, 10 to 20 photos. It all, they don't all come out good, believe me. There's a lot of dogs in there, but sometimes they come out kind of interesting. And I thought this one did, so I thought I would break it down for you. Okay. Um, so this is actually the perfect kind of split screen for, uh, you know, before and after. If you click this little preview up here, you can always see before and after, either that way or with the eyeball before, after. And I'll zoom in here so you can see kind of, I'm going for a different kind of look in this one. And I don't know if you would say it's like extreme HDR. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but really, I'm going for a more of a illustrative look, you know, almost like a, a bit of a combination of a drawing and a, a photograph. Okay. And then so you can look at the before and after, before and after. Right? It's a huge difference, but I think to other people, they may not uh, initially see that. So let me go back to fit the screen. Let me see one more before, after. Uh, let me break it down for you how I did this. Let's look at the uh, images that went into it. Um, so you see there's actually five images here. Uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five. And these are all handheld in London in the middle of the day. Um, I don't think you need to put five shots into your uh, final uh, creation. You only need to put in three or even just one raw file. I probably could have used a single middle exposure and got the same result, honestly. So I just chose the, um, uh, the I chose one, uh, two, and three. I brought them into Aurora. I'm, I aligned them and then I turned on ghost reduction. Okay. Um, and let's go back to step one, all the way back down here. You see I have three different layers, okay. So initially, all I did, I did very little, okay? On the first layer, I just do stuff that I want to affect the whole photo that I don't want to have to undo in other layers, right? So I just did a little bit of HDR Enhance and a little bit of Smart Tone, okay? The next layer, I focused on the sky, and I wanted the sky just to have a little bit more oomph. You can see it's not that different. If I go uh, with and without, you just see the clouds have a little bit more definition. And to do that, I gave more HDR Enhance, I did HDR structures and smoothness, and last I did denoise, because sometimes as you increase HDR structure, it adds a little bit more noise up there. So I do a little denoise, because I like a smooth sky. Okay, then um, I kind of went crazy down here. Okay, uh, now just look at the bottom half, I guess. Okay, and you see how extreme it is? It's quite an extreme difference there. And to do that, I really cranked up HDR Enhance I went high with the HDR structure, low with the softness, which made it sharper, and then boost, which really boosted it up. And I could probably even do it more, right? I really kind of like that look. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I did there. And in the last layer, oh, let me show you where the mask is for this one. I'm gonna click on the brush. Uh, here's the mask, that's where I painted in. Oh, turn it on here. See, I just kind of painted down in there. And you'll notice too that I don't always go all the way to the edge because I like it to start kind of more natural and get more HDR-ish as it gets to the middle. It seems a little bit more believable. Uh, let people's mind make a transition from what they know to be a normal kind of photo to something else entirely. Okay, on the next layer up here, um, you can see my mask here. Okay, here I wanted uh, the buildings to almost be completely desaturated and to be very illustrative, okay? So, uh, let me turn off that mask and I'll show you what I did to, for that. And I did HDR Enhance, I did Smart Tone because I want it to be nice and bright in there. Okay, I brought up the shadows because I didn't want any too much blackness or darkness in there. In fact, I might even do it some more. Um, HDR Structure up, softness down, boost way up. Then I did also some microstructure and softness um, and I will probably also do a, let's do a little bit of HDR details boost here yeah, to really make it pop. Cool. All right, that's it. So I click done. By the way, if you can't click these, um, be sure to click done and it'll make it, uh, make it easier for you. There we go. So before and after, before and after. All right. Yeah, I kind of went crazy with this one. But sometimes I feel like going crazy and I like the look. I think it's nice. It's nice. It's kind of half lithograph, half drawing half charcoal, half photograph, or half photograph. Oh, that's four halves. I guess it'd be quarter, quarter of each of those to make 100%. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed that. Um, be sure to jump over to stuckincustoms.com. I put up a new photo every day. I've done it every day for the last 10 years. 
Got lots of other videos and tips and tricks to kind of keep you going with your uh, creative life. All right. Love you guys. Stay creative. And I will see you next time.